to die, welcome to my dark side. Hello everybody, this is Baron of Bears. It's going to be a video. It's going to be about some games that are going to be coming out on September. I also will give some honorable mentions of some games that did come out uh, in August, the middle of August, that are still, you know, good to start into because they're still relatively new to the game. Uh, first off, please make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for future content if you like my content. Anyway, we're going to get right into the video. And I'm going to go over some of the honorable mentions that I've been playing in the beginning. I will have all the games listed in uh, a comment in this video. So if you don't see anything posted in the comments, just click into the comments. And this comment will show come up and it will show you a list of all the games that you know I talk about in this video. Uh, the first game I will go over is going to be an IGG game. And this is going to be called Viking Rise. It came out of... Maybe, I want to say three months ago or so. Okay, game. It's a Viking game. If you're into that type of theme, it's you know it's a good theme. Uh, but issues I had is there's a lot of events, that, but a lot of them, a lot of packs that come out in the game. It's, it's pretty monetized in my opinion. Not as bad as some games, but just keep that in consideration. If you're a free player, you might struggle in that in IGG games. Uh, unless you can find a, a server with a good player base that aren't just going out farming everybody all the time. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, Doomsday Survivor, I think, is another game that they make. And that was before Viking Rise. It's basically the same type of game, just a different skin of zombie theme instead of a Viking theme. And I heard that was a little more affordable. The packs were a little bit less cost. I'm not sure that's true or not, but that's what I heard. And then the game I really recommend if you're really going to try to play these games would be Zombie Flux Sleepless War. And this is a lower budget type of game. Egg Tart is the game publisher. I, don't, I never heard of them before. We're going to try to get onto this and show you more about the game. Hit more about this game. Go down here. And you can see they do have an email support. They do have a Facebook and a Discord uh, page. I will have those links in the video description for this game because I highly recommend this game. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the most free-to-play city builders I think I've ever played. So, yeah, if that says anything about a game, I, I think it says a lot. Uh, they're a lower budget. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to advertise that much, and it's a lower player base, so if you don't mind probably getting on a lower populated server, uh, they do have, a, I'm not sure if they have server 6s out yet or not, but uh, they do come out with, it seems to be a new server every week. Once they, you know, fill the population of the server, they start a new one. So it could take about a week if you really want to get into a brand new server. But I really recommend them. The, the updates, they clarify everything that they do in the game, which is rare in my opinion. Uh, I highly recommend trying this game out. I do have some videos if you want to check them out. Another game I, I recommend at least trying and see if you like it. If you're into dinosaurs, now they are in early access. They were in beta for a few months. And there were some kind of issues once they came out with early access beta version. Uh, Server 1, they had an issue at like the four or five days. They opened up Server 2, but then they didn't allow you to make any more characters on Server 1. I had issues with that. I did spend a little bit in the game because I liked it. But uh, at that point, uh, I did ask for a refund. I did get refunded my purchases. I just wasn't happy with that. I, I didn't think that was the... I never seen a game do that. It totally block people from uh, creating accounts in the first server. Now, most likely they fixed these issues that they had. I voiced my opinions to them. I contacted them. And they do know, they are aware of, of people not ha happy with them doing that. So I would think that probably by now, if you get the server to whatever server that is, is, is in the game now, you're probably not going to have that issue. Uh, I wouldn't recommend maybe spending yet. Maybe just get familiar with the game. And once it gets out of early access, maybe once it goes global launch, I usually always recommend don't spend anything until a game goes global. 
because who knows what they will do, you know. A lot of these beta servers don't get merged with the other servers down the road or whatnot, so you could have issues. But it is, it runs really well. It runs as good as the Zombie Flux game I recommended before this one uh, for low-end devices. You know, it, 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 they're, they're coding. The programmers in this game, they know what they're doing with, with the coding in their game. Now, this is... A California based company so if you're uh, looking for a game company that you know could be more westernized type of company want to support a game company this could be one of those game companies this could be one of those games you'd want to try out I think uh, but it is a little on the high side in prices and something. It does have a VIP activation. You have to spend, uh, you know, gold in the game to keep it activated. I, I didn't really like that. Hopefully, they'll put that in a monthly pack. I mean, they do take suggestions for the game, so maybe they'll change that. But it's definitely a beautiful game. Uh, it, they really did a great job with the graphics. So I would definitely try to you know, check this out at least. Next game... Now, this just came out a few days ago on Global Launch on, on September 7th. And this is called Puzzles and Chaos Frozen Castle. It's basically a match three game combined as with the city builder aspect. So it's got a little bit of both. I think from what I played of this game, uh, it's like a triple A match three game. The cinematics in this game in the very beginning are, you know, top notch there's no issues with it at all no mistakes runs really well it gives you kind of an introduction to the, there is the tour that you have to get through you know it's a little long but if you can get past that you should be in good shape uh, i do recommend trying this out it does have good a good rating i might try to plan on making some video content for this game in the future okay and the last game i'm going to recommend that's going to this one's coming out towards the end of the month and it's going to be on September 20th is what I'm thinking what the, the from what they said on their Facebook uh, this is called Kingdom Heroes Tactics I'm not sure what the monetization is going to be for this game it could be a little on the high side but it still could be fun for free players especially if you like the Chinese history theme this game's going for it's going to be, it take me back to the days when I was a teenager and I played Romance of the Three Kingdoms on, on the Nintendo. So if you are familiar with the Romance of the Three Kingdoms storyline, you know, this game is going to go into that setting of that, of that story. And it was a historical fiction book written a long time ago by a Chinese author. And there's going to be a lot of story in this game, I think. Hopefully that they're going to flesh out some story content into this game because they're really going on a theme uh, with so much lore and history involved that uh, this could be a very interesting game to try out when it comes out. So I'm definitely interested in getting into trying this out. You can pre-register now. Anyways, this is Bear and the Bear. I hope this kind of gave you some ideas to get Maybe you haven't heard about some of these games. You might want to try one of them. And then, uh, but remember, we got to feed the bear. And I'll talk to you guys later.